previously on K-Drama Flex. So we all know that Duna came recently out on Netflix. We all were very excited what we can expect from Bay Susie. When I watched the show it was fine and now I am being totally honest, but sorry the ending of the show was horrible and it could be better. Like am I watching a K-drama or is this just a joke? Buckle up guys because we are explaining everything what happened in the end of Lee Duna. <laughs> The first thing we are discussing is whether Wonjun and Jin Jun end up together. In the story of Duna, there's a love triangle. Wonjun and Jin Jun are part of it. When they were in school, Wonjun was the top student, always getting the highest grades and being number one. Jin Jun was the one who came right after him, always in the second place. Wonjun and Jin Jun liked each other, but Jin Jun's family problems kept her from sharing her feelings. When Wonjun expressed his love, she was afraid to tell him why she couldn't commit. He left, and they reunited in college. However, Wonjun fell in love with Duna. Jin Jun eventually confessed her feelings and her family troubles, but she knew he loved Duna. She focused on her studies, broke free from her dad's control, and built a successful career in Brazil. Duna ends with Wonjun and Jin Jun being on good terms and good friends again. On the other hand, we had the main character Duna and Wonjun. Did they end up together? Duna's manager at MSA Entertainment is the person she told she wanted to be an idol when she was a kid. He worked her really hard over the years, teaching her to dance, sing, and perform with all her heart. Duna had a tough time with a selfish guy in the music industry. She quit and moved to a shared house, feeling really down. Then, Lee Wonjun, a 21-year-old college student, moved in. They became close friends and fell in love, which gave Duna a new outlook on life. They had some ups and downs, especially when Duna's old flame Inwook returned. But they reconciled, and their relationship was going well until Duna got a chance to return to music. Wonjun's relationship with Duna gets complicated when Inwook shows up. Duna returns to the music scene, but there are rules that keep her and Wonjun apart. They meet again, but Wonjun decides to break up. Two years later, they meet once more, and Duna asks for an apology. They reconcile and admit they missed each other. The show ends with both of them successful in their careers, but they're not together romantically. And that guys, what makes this K-drama a horrible ending in my view. I don't know what other people think about the ending, but for me it was okay. I have seen better K-dramas of Bay Susie that were more interesting than this one. Anyways, that was it for today's video. See you in the next one.